Hi, my beauty queens. So, today is December the 3rd. Tomorrow, I will be officially one month post-op. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures in of how I look now from where I first started. So, you guys can see and compare and see if you guys see anything. So, basically, I'm jumping on to basically let you guys know everything pretty much like everything that has been going on with me one month post-op um i'm not gonna lead you guys into the blind i swear i've see i see you guys messages i see you guys comment i see you guys support i really 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 appreciate my beauties for supporting me i really do y'all are the real mvp okay so before we get into the video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell at the top to be notif notified every time your girl posts a video on VSG. We're going to start doing some natural hair um, tutorials once I take down this foolishness here. Probably after New Year's, you guys, because your girl ain't doing no hair, okay? She got kids. She ain't doing all that. So, probably after New Year's, I'm going to take down my hair, and I'll show you guys my natural uh, beauty, okay? So, like I said before, this channel is going to be more than about um, weight loss. It's going to be a lot of different content, a lot of different things that you guys want to see. And whatever you guys don't see on my channel you would like to see, just hit your girl up. Send me a comment. Link it down, leave it down below. And trust me, your girl will fulfill your needs, okay? So, let's get into the video and let's go ahead and start answering questions. First question is my stats i know you guys are waiting for my stats highest weight um before surgery was 380 the first day of um what is it called my nutrition classes i was 380 um surgery weight was 362.6 i believe and as of today well for my video i did last you guys my weight was like 324 or something like that as of today, I'm 319. So I am at a bit of a stall because I am introducing food back into my body. Um, we're going to get more into that too, you guys, later on in this video. I'm sorry if you guys hear any background noises, okay? Sorry about that. Overlook it. As long as you hear me, okay? We here. As long as we here. So that are, that are my, that is my stats. I'm like I said, I'm gonna leave some insert some pictures for you guys to see my before and my after. And I'm only one month, one month post op, so keep that in mind. All right, first first question: How much am I able to intake with liquids and protein? As of Monday, <laughs> as of Monday, uh, what was Monday? Somewhere. November the something or December the first, something like that. As of that, I'm just not able to take in all my protein and all of my water. Only because I am forcing myself to break this stall, okay? So, um, let me tell you guys what I do to get my protein in. I take a Premier Protein Shake and I blend it. My lips, thick, look, my makeup look all kind of crazy right now. Sorry, y'all. Anywho, and I blend it together with um, my uh, my uh, protein powder. So I'm only I'm not only getting protein from the Premier Shake. I'm getting it from the um, powder too. So just out of that, just out of that, I get like 45 grams of protein, up to 50 grams of protein. So I'm like, okay, let some of this protein come from my food. You guys, I am addicted to beef tripe and bell peppers. After surgery, you get addicted to a lot of weird things, you guys. Things that you would never thought that you would crave for, I crave. I crave sauteed bell peppers that's sauteed in water. Not butter, not oil, water. Don't judge me, judge your mama. Anywho, so that and, um, what is it? Beef tripe, I love it, you guys. That's the only thing that is able to sit on my stomach besides red beans, okay? And I was ready to try something new anyways. You know what I'm saying? I got tired of the beans. So I got tired of that. The little refried beans. I got tired of it. So, if you guys are hardhead like me, know that the throwing up is real. Very real in this journey. Um, 
me personally, before I started the uh, the weight loss, before I had the surgery, I'm a fast eater. After the surgery, your doctors and your nutritionists let you know you can chew. You have to chew your food up to what thirty times or something like that. I wasn't doing that. I don't even think I was chewing when I first was able to eat. I was so excited for food again. I was just eating. And I got down to like two ounces of food. And I was throwing up everywhere. Shrimps is too heavy, you guys. Do not try that in your first stage. Don't try to puree it. And don't try to eat it on soft food either. It ain't going to happen. It's too heavy. Even with eggs, y'all, I have to scramble a half of an egg. Half of it. Like literally three tablespoons in order to get it down. Because if I do any more than that, I'm throwing it up. So we ain't going to even three tablespoons. That's what you said, stomach. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Because that throwing up it hurts your incisions. Um. Also, what else? I tried like sausage links. Some, something with a lot of protein, y'all. I've been trying a lot of things with a lot of protein. Um, Sausage link, I was able to get down one. And that took me about... 30 to 40 minutes to get down after that and by the end of the 40 minutes i didn't even want it anymore because it got cold i don't want to eat cold food okay so hey to each is its own but it ain't worked for me now the yogurt the light fit yogurt you guys is amazing the sugar-free pudding is amazing it is amazing it does cure your sugar taste or if you guys have cravings it does cure that sweet craving for me um what else liquids Let's get into this liquids. What do I count or my doctors see as liquid intake? Only thing I have been drinking, you guys, because they was like, try sugar-free um, crystal light packs. I have not tried those yet because I am hooked to zero Gatorade. It has no sugars, no calories. I love it. And water, something called ice. It's a drink called sparkling ice. And body armor, the low calorie one. That's all I drink besides eating cool pops all day. Like sugar free popsicles, we call them cool pops. But sugar free popsicles all day long. That's my intake. That's what I consider as my intake. You feel me? So, like I said, to each his own. I don't know what your body can handle. Every sleeve is different, you guys. Every sleeve is different. I feel like I'm losing slow, and some people feel like, girl. You losing pretty quick. So, gym. How long am I in? How long am I in the gym, and what am I doing in the gym? Not gonna lie to y'all. When I first started going to the gym, I was going too hard, too quick, too soon, poo. And uh, my dad was like, "Okay, little poo poo, you need to sit down somewhere. You're doing too much." Um, I said 20 minutes. I ain't say 50. You feel me? I understand that you got your headphones in, you got your worship music in, or whatever you got playing. Um, and you doing a little too much. But at 30 minutes, you need to set your timer and get off the treadmill. You guys, when I first started doing this, I was literally on the treadmill in the incline of 8. Um, even though I told you I was going to take it light, I did not. Um, burning like 700 calories. I'm still doing that to shock my body. Because like I said, I'm in a stall. So I got to get out the stall. So pretty much anything, everything I eat, it comes out in the gym because I burn it off. And I'm praying and hoping to God that it shocks my body, okay? Um, in the gym, I'm basically just working out on the treadmill. I do 40 to 50 minutes treadmill incline speed of like 2.8 incline between 6 and 8. Um, I burn about 600 to 700 calories a day doing that. Now I have incorporated dumbbells. It's no more than 10 pounds, you guys. Like, honestly, I don't do no more than 10 pounds. I do 30 on this arm, 30 on this arm, 30 curls on this arm, and 30 curls on that arm. So, basically 60 and 60. Um, I Also, squatting. Um, I heard it's, it's good for your butt and it's good for your legs. I got big thighs. So, ain't nobody trying to have no saggy skin between the legs. Because that ain't, that, ain't, that ain't cute, poo. If you're trying to be snatched in this season, that ain't, that ain't what's going to do. You're going to have to get that right. And everybody that's asking me um, after this surgery um, for my one-year post-op, am I going to have reconstruction surgery? Yes, I am. Um, anything that's hanging, loose, child. Ain't anybody trying to see that? I'm 25. Anybody trying to see that loose and hanging? No, 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 no. This ain't uh dashing through the snow. No, ma'am. Um, we're going to get that chopped off. We're going to get that 
snip that clip. Like I said, don't judge me, judge your mama, don't play with me playing traffic. So, yes, it's going to get cut and snip. I don't care who like it and who don't. I'm going back underneath the knife and I'm going to get snatched. I ain't come all this way for nothing, okay? So we're not finna be having wings and bats and 30 stomachs to your knees and stuff. We ain't finna have that kind of saggy skin over. Not over here, baby. Not over here. All right. Um. What else? What do I notice about myself that has changed? I've noticed a lot. Um, but I don't really I noticed a lot feeling wise, but physical wise, I don't see a lot. P other people see it, but I I don't see it. I just noticed my face. But my face, like I said, my face have always been always been fat and chubby cheeks. And back then I had a few jaws, a few cheeks, a few, <laughs> a few, a few, okay? I had a few of everything, like multiple of it, like 30 chance. I'm just playing, but I, I did have multiple of those. So, we working on it. It's getting a little slim. Now, a non-scale victory, basically, I can finally feel my co collarbone. Won't he do it? Girl, I had so much stuff over it, I couldn't feel it. So, you, your girl is now feeling her collarbone, and that feels amazing. Went to the store, I bought some, usually my size for jeans was like a 4X, 5X almost, you guys. It was like, if it wasn't stretchy enough, your girl had to get a 5X. But it's okay, it's okay. We wore a lot of tights then. Um, I went to the store, I was like, I'm going to pick up these pants. It was on sale at It's Fashion. I was like, I'm going to pick up these jeans, and this going to be my scale jeans. Like, that's my gold jeans right there. And something was like, well, just try them on, girl. Just see where you at with it. Um, I can actually button those jeans right now. So, I'm actually, and they're a little tight for my liking, but I can button them. So, I felt real good. I'm not going to lie, y'all was really feeling myself with them jeans. So, I really felt good about those jeans. Now, I do have another pair of jeans that I am not able to fit in just yet. But, you better believe your girl going to get to that. Um... Okay, hair loss. No, I have not experienced any hair loss. I am all the way natural. I have been natural for two years. Since surgery, you guys, I have had these long beauty braids in, okay? Not booty, beauty braids, okay? Because I don't do the booty braids. Yet. I have had braids in my head since surgery. So, no, uh, I have not experienced any hair loss. And I take biotin, 2,000 milligrams a day. So, no, including with my vitamins and... All of that good stuff. So, no, your girl has not um, lost any hair. She's not trying to be edgeless or bald head. <laughs> you know, not people say I'm trying to do my bald. Yeah, I ain't trying to be bald head. Pass that on over, okay? Pass that on over. Now, um, do... What did it say? Oh, okay. Do I feel a difference in... I'm, if my mom is watching this video, I am so sorry. She, your daughter is still modest. Okay, do I feel a difference in sex? I have not had sex in surgery, so it does not, I don't know. Uh, I am following doctor's orders to wait a month and a few weeks right, to do anything. So, uh, I don't know how it feels, sis. If you want to try two days after surgery and be back in the hospital, you do you, you know, to eat your soul. But your girl ain't doing that. <laughs> your girl ain't going through more pain than what she already had to go through, okay? So, um... The date I got was December the 15th. So, uh, a month and a few days, not a few, well, a week or two out, I can go ahead. But I, it's still going to be a no-go for me. Um, So, no, sis, I ain't out here doing that. Uh, and if y'all out here doing that right after surgery, you nasty. I'm just going to put it like, you nasty. And you're going to be in lots of pain, poo-poo. You better just keep your little hot self. In a little hot tub or something, then put it away, sweetheart, because you need to cool off. Maybe need a little Tylenol or something. I don't know if you're running fever or not, but you need to calm down. Because ain't nobody out here doing that right at the surgery. Something wrong with y'all. Um. Okay, this is insurance questions. Um, I did a video on that already, you guys. So, you will have to go back and look at my old videos to see about how to get VSG surgery free of charge. Okay, because your girl broke it down for you, okay? Ain't nobody here spending coins. We out here collecting coins. We ain't trying to spend no coin, okay? We're trying to get snatched on the budget. So that's what we're doing, okay? So I have a video on that, so you have to go back and watch it. Now, 
giveaway. We will be doing a giveaway. I will be doing a giveaway for my subscribers. For my supporters that have been rocking with me since last year on this journey. I love you guys so, 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 so much. You do not understand. Um, I am trying to get to 1K by New Year's. And whenever we reach 1K, we are going to give up a, a giveaway. And it might go up. So, they said do gas card or cash app directly to the person. That's fine. Um... So, if you're not subscribed, if you're not liking, sharing, or commenting on the videos, you would not be included in the drawing. So, who want to miss out on free money? It's going to be two winners. Two. You got two chances. So, who want to miss out on free money? Nobody. Nobody. If you can get free gas, who want to Come on now. It's free. Who don't like free stuff? Just like a like is free. A subscribe is free. You feel me? See what I'm going with that? All right. So, I gave y'all all of that. So, I think that completes this video, you guys. So, go ahead and hit like, share, comment, or subscribe. Hit the notification at the top to be notified every time your girl posts a video. Okay, beauties? So, go ahead and hit a like because it's free. And what is it going to cost you? Huh? What is it going to cost you? Nothing. So, I'm just trying to see if you subscribe, yet. You subscribe, yet? I'm looking. I, I don't hear no clicking. I don't hear no clicking, sis. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. So, I'll be back. Let's see. Mm, let's see. What today is? Thursday? I'll be back next Thursday to give you guys one a week after. So, we're going to start doing weekly um, notifications. Like, weekly. Me posting weekly on the journey. Um, The next video will be what I eat in a day on VSG. So, you will know if you have your notification turned on. For Thursday. By Thursday. You will know when I post it, right? Okay. See you beauties later. And don't forget to give your girl a like because it's free.